The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. The Lord helped them, and a great number believed and were converted to the Lord. The news of them came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas out to Antioch. There he was glad to see for himself that God had given grace, and he urged them all to remain faithful to the Lord with heartfelt devotion. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. And a large number of people were won over to the Lord. Barnabas then left for Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. And it happened that they stayed together in that church a whole year, instructing a large number of people. It was at Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. In the church at Antioch, the following were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, Maniam, who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. One day, while they were offering worship to the Lord and keeping a fast, the Holy Spirit said, I want Barnabas and Saul set apart for the work to which I have called them. So it was that after fasting and prayer, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. Our response from Psalm 98. Sing a new song to Yahweh, for he has performed wonders. His saving power is in his right hand and his holy arm. Yahweh has made known his saving power, revealed his saving justice for the nations to see. Mindful of his faithful love and his constancy to the house of Israel, the whole wide world has seen the saving power of our God. Acclaim Yahweh all the earth, burst into shouts of joy. Play to Yahweh on the harp, to the sound of instruments, to the sound of trumpet and horn. Acclaim the presence of the King. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, And as you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those suffering from virulent skin diseases, drive out devils. You received without charge, give without charge. Provide yourselves with no gold or silver, not even with coppers for your purses, with no haversack for the journey, or spare tunic or footwear or staff, for the laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you go into, seek out someone worthy and stay with him until you leave. As you enter his house, salute it. And if the house deserves it, may your peace come upon it. And if it does not, may your peace come back to you. The Gospel of the Lord.